Hello all traders. In this lesson of Module 2, Workshop 4, we will discuss the concept of dynamic channel. You have learned in Module 1, how to draw a dynamic support line by connecting the troughs of two swing lows. You also mastered how to draw a dynamic resistance line by connecting the peaks of two swing highs. These two lines of dynamic support and dynamic resistance combined, form a dynamic channel. You will see variation of these channels in live markets, and how their slopes and ranges change dynamically over time. So let's practice how to draw and recognize dynamic channels on the chart in this workshop. In this lesson of Module 2, Workshop 4, we will learn how to update the dynamic channel. You have learned how to draw a dynamic channel, and have seen a variety of channels with different slopes and shapes. You will see variation of these channels in live markets, and will practice how to update your dynamic channel as market unfolds. So, let's practice how to update dynamic channels in a forward test fashion similar to the live market chart. As more new swing highs and swing lows are formed, 